Here locally, if you know the history of our state and its five active volcanoes, odds are the thought of Mount St. Helens repeating or the so-called big one could actually keep you up at night. But tonight, we hope you can rest easy knowing some high-level technology is keeping tabs on any rubblings. Fox 13's Lauren Donovan visited the USGS Cascade Volcano Observatory to learn how seismic monitoring works. But these are examples. From if you go down the hall from the drawers filled with remnants of Glacier Peak's past eruptions, then you have this darker material, which is a different kind of magma. Turn around the corner from the robot meticulously cataloging sediment samples from St. Helens. It's taking little crucibles and weighing them over and over and over again. And go inside the Cascades Volcano Observatory's massive Vancouver warehouse, filled to the brim with all sorts of scientific whatchamacallits, you'll spy them hidden in the back, stuck in a sandbox. Seismometers, <laughs> the life-saving technology that monitors the heartbeats of our state's five active volcanoes. We don't want to put something out in the landscape and then two weeks later find out it's not working and then we especially like at Glacier Peak and then have to go hike out two and a half days to replace it. Before we put instrumentation out on the landscape, we give it a very thorough testing. John Major, scientist in charge at this USGS outpost, says for several months they'll sit here picking up all sorts of traces. We are measuring local earthquakes, very small movements. We measure the people who are walking around in the building, anything that kind of causes any kind of vibration in the ground. How do we know it's working? So if we just stomp on the ground a little bit. There we go. That's a good sign. When I stomp on the ground, it's causing a vibration. It's causing a signal that causes the seismometer to jiggle and those jiggles are what we're seeing on the on the seismograms. These powerful sensors are attuned for every tremor, but they can't always detect activity above the surface, like the ash we saw during the St. Helens eruption back in 1980. And that is why you need one of these infrasounds, capable of picking up sound waves undetectable to the human ear, like the pressure wave created by a landslide. The big landslide is going to make a big noise on the seismometers because it's going to shake the ground, but it's also going to generate a pressure wave. We're not just learning how scientists track our region's active volcanoes. We are taking a quite literal inside look at a monitoring station. All that technology I just showed you, well, this is its hub, packed full of batteries, equipped with 200-watt solar panels, camera, and antennas stretching 12 feet high. This is needed to transmit evidence of any tremors or unusual activity. To be able to read, we have to convert it into a digital signal, and then that digital signal goes into the box, and there's going to be a radio transmitter that then transmits that data back to us here at the observatory. Reporting in the Cascades, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.